Welcome back. Let's play again on Chogi Wars. It's been maybe a week since we last played here. I think I remember still how to use the interface, so we select that we want to play a normal 10 minute game with a random opponent. And uh, hopefully we'll learn things from each game. Um, we do this a bit differently than the Teaching Ladder series. In the Teaching Ladder series, we do an extensive analysis after games. Here, I generally tend to do those offline, or after the recording. Um, but yeah, I guess today, uh, Central Falrook sounds fun. Shall we do it? Here we go. Good luck. Okay, am I going to, going to get to play my favored strategy? Mmm, might not be so favored anymore. Here, let's play Opposing Rook, just for fun. Whoa! Okay, um, this is interesting. Let's get the king out of dodge. And... Uh, sure, let's exchange here. This seems fun. So we are threatening the pawn next to the king. If the king moves away, we can take the pawn. Okay, we force the opponent to drop a pawn, thereby blocking their rook. I think this is acceptable. Do I have better? Do I advance here? If I advance, a silver chases my bishop. It's not worth advancing right now. But uh, we force the opponent to place their piece in an awkward spot. So it's okay. Um, if I bring up this pawn, I can use a knight to collect their pawn. Um, I'm curious. Show me what's up. Alright, you've got my interest. Teach me something, please. Let's check the overlay. The overlay looks good. Nice. So here they've extended this pawn on file 8. Or I guess here it's file 2 since I'm playing Gota. Uh, yeah. So now my opponent has this interest in exchanging pieces. I'm perhaps not as interested as they are, to put it bluntly. Um, if I bring this gold forward, our gold is awkwardly placed. Wait, I could just close this diagonal. I don't have to engage in any of this. Yeah, let's not engage there. We're just going to collect a pawn and be happy. That's the plan. Although their castle is more solid than mine. Um, okay, well, this is Shogi Wars. <laughs> we are enjoying the Shogi Wars way of playing a game which is apparently a bit more experimental than how I normally play. Yeah, so yes, my knight is pinned. I do acknowledge this, but there are other things going on here. Um, I've made my life difficult, but let's not keep my king completely exposed. Okay, interesting. Uh, let's put some pressure on this edge. Okay. I'm very confused. Mm -hmm. Oh, if my knight gets exchanged, I don't want my king on this diagonal. So... Okay, we're going to build Cozy Castle, and it's going to be fine. Interestingly, I have a silver forking two gold generals if uh, this opens up immediately, um, which it probably won't. Let's bring... Oh, let's produce this solid shape here. 
I debated some other shapes here that would allow my rook a little bit more freedom, uh, but this seems fine to me. It's still aligned with their king where it stands right now. Welcome. Hope you'll enjoy spectating um, this rather fun game. <laughs> oh, Nana okay. interesting. They're going to prevent me from doing obvious things here. That's fine. Um... Okay, let's form this shape that's kind of hard to break. Yep, they chase down my knight, which is reasonable. Um, they might have other ideas there too. I don't have a fantastic breakthrough just yet. My breakthrough's not too bad, actually. But I can find better if I try. Okay, let's protect this bishop, just in case everything goes to shit. My opponent still very much wants to have a pawn in hand. Oh! First saw me in a Lee Chess highlight of my match with Mannered Monkey. Oh, that's cool. It's been a long time since I played him. Uh, yeah, wow. That's awesome. We've got some loyal following here. So, yes, welcome. Um, okay, my opponent wants to break in the center. If I push this edge and we start exchanging willy nilly. They're eventually going to drop a pawn, and then I take here. Yeah, no, this is fine. Let's get the first strike bonus. Uh, uh, yeah, um, we're mostly doing shogi these days, although I have been meaning to get back to Lee Chess, uh, largely because I generally have a greater audience there than I have here. So it's just a different experience. Um, if I drop a pawn somewhere, I can take this. Well, I've given them a pawn to hit my knight now. There's no use being subtle anymore. Um, yeah, let's have some fun. They can just drop the pawn in front of my lance as well, which is probably the more convincing way for them to respond to what I've done. Yeah. Go um, hmm. Oh, well, I can do retort in kind. Yeah, silver takes puts their silver in a less than perfect spot, although they're happy to do it. Um, and I debate what I do with my four pawns here. <sighs> it's not obvious. Um... Uh, I could chase this lance, but then they take here. Let's just get our rook exchange like I've been begging for for a long time and be content with it. No sense being greedy here. Okay, there's the rook exchange. There they take my knight, and I try to be happy with this. Um...
right, this looks interesting enough. Sure, they hit my bishop. I might have to move it. Yeah, let's move the bishop. This is not my finest game. My opponent's playing well. You've tried Shogi yourself. Uh, all right, have a good day. Yep, that's a fork. I saw that coming, but uh, that didn't paralyze me with fear. So I rebuild this shape, and they can continue attacking it. So I'm not sure where I pushed the envelope too far this game, or even if I have, because like now I'm threatening multiple pieces in succession here. They would be attacking my king if their bishop and knight had been lined up with it. Uh, but give it time. I'm sure they'll find something. But yeah, this gold out here is interestingly placed. Sampun. Okay, I see what this is about. Yeah, that's well spotted, sir. Uh, my position is quite awkward now that I think more about it. Um, all right, well, I'll take this deal. It's not a great deal. It is a deal, though. It's two for one. But the quality of the pieces is not perfect. So now they have a knight and a bishop. And the silver's still out here doing nothing. I'm still hitting this base out here, the castle that I've not seen before. But um, I've got my own weaknesses to worry about. Mm-hmm. So we'll protect my gold general. These two protect each other mutually. And, and I'll have to find a way to attack here. It's not trivial. Hmm. Well, screw it. Let's do the obvious thing, shall we? This is not defended by anything other than the king, so let's attack it. Yes, they could use the gold to block the bishop and defend this. Yes, they could use the bishop itself to defend this. More likely, they drop a knight, and that brings its own set of problems with it, so... No cause for alarm just yet. If they had pawns in hand, I'd be more concerned that this could be quite difficult to tear down. I'm trying to be careful about giving them additional pawns in hand. My next thought is a night trap here. Um... Nifun. Which seems overkill now. Okay, let's just keep hitting this common point. If they're going to be slow in attacking, we can 
take a faster attack and hope it works. Okay. Hmm, is it worth collecting that? Maybe. Ippun Sanjubio. Hmm. Hmm, I had a better idea. It's too late now. My rook has to be active this game, so we are going to exchange the rook. Uh, it's going to be difficult. I should have harassed this bishop earlier, because now I have difficult decisions to make. I don't want to exchange everything, but exchanges do need to happen. Picking up the pace since I'm in time pressure. It's difficult since I'm one piece away from being mated. I have to be very careful what I exchange. Hmm. I don't understand. Teach me. Fuck. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I'm fine for this minute, but it's dangerous. Um, I misread that. I'm still learning something though, but uh... Yeah, I think they win. I don't think there's any coming back from this. Nicely played.
20秒。Oops! <laughs> Shit, that's mate in one, right there. Okay, good game. <laughs> Nicely done. I'm impressed. Let's play another. So that's why Cozy Castle's dangerous. <laughs> Good luck. Alright, we're playing a 25Q. Um, so yeah, I tend to lose when I play Opposing Rook, but it can be interesting to play it anyway. But perhaps, you know, given my immense losing streak, um, some reconsideration should be given to this idea. Maybe I need to study that a lot more before I can play it again. Okay, we are moving our pieces off of the rook's line. Mm -hmm. And preparing to encroach on the bishop's space. Okay, they're not playing on Aguma Castle. Let's tuck the king over here. And... I'm actually not sure. This is perhaps more flexible. Cool, we got um, that animation there. That was interesting. Okay. Is there a most flexible way to play this? I'm sure there is, but how do I want to play this? <laughs> yeah, I think this is probably the most reasonable move here. I'm stretching a lot since I'm not totally familiar. Okay, they're building high Mino. Meanwhile, I can like proceed my pieces. Oh, but I can't move the knight. Well, I can in this case because the rook's blocked temporarily, but that doesn't last a long time. Generally, I have to play this, so let's get it played. Um, now I've actually blocked this file, but. I could have used for attacking, but I didn't. Um, so, okay, yes, I've played that before. How did people play this against me? I'm trying to remember. There were plans that players' opponents used in this position. I should be able to remember one of those plans, right? Um, so the idea behind fourth file rook is that they want the rook to penetrate. Okay, yeah, we can play this. This is fine. And likewise, they can push some of these pawns on the left side of the board. I remember I've been stymied on this side of this position before. So yeah, that's playable. But how do you go after this is what I'm trying to remember. I don't think blocking my own bishop is the way to play it. But I don't recall what next to do.
So this bishop is no longer defended by a silver general. Um, also, the rook is temporarily blocked, so this might be my best... Well, yeah, if I push this pawn, bad things could happen in a hurry. So I need to be quite considerate or thoughtful about what I'm doing. Um... think this is playable? Again, I don't really want to open the fourth file here. What else can I consider? Nanafumi. So, like, clearly they're trying to promote their rook. Yeah, I'm just stumped. So, I'm going to try to prevent this promotion. And look for ways to use my bishop. But yeah, moving this knight but it could have been a mistake on my part. Um, that's interesting. How can I react to this? Oh, my knight's stuck, so let's make use of the knight. <laughs> Treat it like a Grunfeld. Oh boy. <laughs> I've played the Grunfeld in uh, chess tournaments and chess matches. Uh, actually, on both sides. I've, um, and I've suffered a lot playing the black pieces. Um, it's just so complicated. But yeah, when I had faced it from the white side of the Grunfeld position... That was amazing. I had some excellent results <laughs> where just like, because I've been trying to study how to play this as black, um, I might have been just a little over prepared for my match. Uh, so, <sighs> yeah, Grinfeld's super tactical chess opening. Um, lots of, I don't know motifs to keep track of all at the same time. But yes, welcome. So I've got a bishop in hand, and we know how, like, it's just difficult to find how to drop a bishop effectively in all positions. There's some positions where you can clearly prepare it, and there's others where it's not so easy. Um... I could block this with my bishop and get in trouble, right? Or even here, it doesn't get me in trouble right away. Um, sure, let's take a free tempo with this. Get the knight out. You know, that's smart, right? So they've got a knight on this file, I've got a knight on this file, I've got a pawn in hand. Uh, so we've blocked this diagonal. They could redrop their bishop again if they want, and... This time I won't mind it so much. Um, moving the knight is not smart. Moving both of my knights, doubly not smart. But we play this game for fun. Um, so they've missed something rather... Well, I'm not going to characterize it here, but they've missed something. Okay, so that's the attack. I could just take this knight. I really don't care. Um, t 
Taking might not even be my best move. Oh my goodness, what is going on this game? Okay, if I take their silver enters with tempo, oh. so that might not be smart. But what does happen with tempo here is me just smashing their position in half. So let's enjoy that. <laughs> um. So yeah, I think they missed this, which is unfortunate because it's a really interesting game to this point. And it's not going to be as interesting after this. Um, okay, they're threatening to drop a knight. I'm trying to find if there's some way I can just obliterate this outright. I don't think so. I think I have to be at least a little bit cautious about what happens next. Um... Oh, wait, no, if I drop a knight there, I give up two pieces for one. That's not smart. If I move the token over, I mean, that's, tokens are meant to be moved, right? They're trying to promote their rook. Um, but they're also intent, well, if they drop this knight, then maybe I take it. And it's perfectly fine. Yeah, let's just, let's go here. Do I want to take this? A turn ago I said I wanted to. I might have already changed my mind. Um, oh wait, I could just move the silver. I forgot. Hey! Problem solved. <laughs> i like, how do I break this pin so I don't like, get this massive series of exchanges that makes my king vulnerable? This is how. The pin's still there. I don't have to break it. This isn't chess. Just because a piece is pinned doesn't mean, like, the pin's always useful. So... Now what? Where do we even go next? Sampun. I feel like I'm missing something obvious here. All right, whatever. <laughs> We have a dragon. We'll be content with it. Oh, I could have gone up here instead, hit the knight directly. What allured me to this is that I could uh, hit this gold, so if somehow this shape disconnects, I get a free gold general with a tempo. Um, and probably right to do it this way, but um, yeah, I didn't even consider this promotion. I considered these two, but not this one. This one could have been faster, um, but perhaps hitting a lot weaker because like we're hitting so far away from the king. So next, I'm probably just dropping a knight to support my king just in case everything goes completely berserk here. And somehow they find an attack, even though I really don't expect them to. Um, they continue trying to open this line for their rook. I uh, don't see a way to gain another tempo here. Be nice to win all the tempi. Ah, uh, time pressure. Dang. Oh. Okay, so yeah, we'll take here. Probably the bishop backs off. Probably we can drop a lance to break the pin. Um, 
until I find something better. Oh, I could make my own pin now that this diagonal's open. All right, yeah. Okay, we'll remove the attacker. So yeah, they broke my castle, and I hope to live. The more pieces they exchange, the more dangerous this gets for me. Um, so we'll step away from these attacks. Threatening pawn takes knight, and then king takes silver. I seem to have reverted to my form of just take all the opponent's pieces. And that's one way to play, but it'd be nice if I could find attacks so I don't have to like perpetually defend like this. Um, okay, let's remove this attacker. try to get them to remove all the remaining threats. So we are threatening a dragon and threatening a silver general. They play the expected sacrifice. And they seem to have run out of pieces to sacrifice at this point. Ah! Yes, that's a good play, actually. Um, well spotted, sir. All right, so we'll defend. Prevent a gold drop next to my king. They'll reinforce their attack. I'll reinforce my defense. This is not pleasant, but it'll have to do. Okay, we reinforce our attack. I can just take this. I should just take this because it's threatening my king. Okay, um, hmm. we'll continue attacking. And if they bring out other heavy pieces, I don't know what we do, but. Um. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, we'll remove this attacker. I've probably missed a sacrifice or three. 
Hopefully nothing fatal. Thanks for the game. Let's play another game. Game number three. Good luck. <laughs> Finally, the, I get to play the opening I announced at the beginning of this video. Um, but, you know, it'll be. It's good to vary it up a bit. It's been a while since we've played this. Uh, I don't think this works this way. But, what do I know? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I'm officially in the land of what in the world is going on here. Um, yeah, this is something. This is something. I don't know what it is. This is even more Grinfeld-like than the last game. Um, Okay, we're just going to get the king out of here so I don't blunder everything all at once. I think my position's acceptable. Um, okay. I think I can take here. I spent some time last move thinking about this as well. Yeah, I saw this fork, but I saw I have this bishop drop over here. Which looks interesting. Now they have a pawn drop in response to my bishop drop. It's perhaps not so interesting after all. Still... I don't know, my position looks fine. If they do drop the pawn over here, then it can't block the center, but they're getting another pawn anyway. Um... This is probably fine. It's not what I dreamed of, but it seems okay. So they do have two pawns in hand. I've got a bishop in hand. I think this is okay. Um, if I drop my bishop and we do this exchange, I don't think they have a compelling rook drop. They could drop here, but I take this pawn. It seems okay for me. Oh, wait. Um, I thought I saw something more awesome, but it's not there. Okay, 
Okay, here we go, building Cozy Castle again. Because that's smart. It worked in the first game, didn't it? <laughs> Until it didn't. So... Yeah, maybe this time we don't move both generals and just move this one and say it's good enough. Um, yeah, I was curious what they're going to do with their bishop. Hmm. Pawn, silver pawns. Oh, silver doesn't move this way. Um. Yeah, let's let's see what happens. If the silver moves up, then this diagonal becomes wide open. Oh, also their silver's trapped. Um, well, trapped is an interesting word for this, but yeah, he has to advance like this, and then I get to make this attack. So I get first blood, and my king is slightly safer than theirs. Um... Again, my king is safe, so yeah, let's exchange some pieces. Let's have a fun game here. How fun can we make this game? If it means I can win the game, I'm not afraid to sack a few pieces. Although even that might not Oof. be required here. We're going to block my rook, and I'm going to be sad. Because I can't find a way to block them from blocking my rook. Um, but it's okay. So if I had attacked the rook from here, forking these, they would just move the rook to defend this gold. Instead, I move here. Um, which isn't great, but I can't see anything better right now. I guess I'm threatening to push a pawn, but like it's not compelling either.
I don't understand. All right, show me what's up. Let's learn this game together. I don't think you're going to exchange this horse for my rook. On the other hand, I'm going to exchange my horse, because this looks interesting. Regrettably, I don't have a follow-up. Yeah. It's strange and stranger. Sampun. This is the best I can do, because I've not planned well in advance here. So there's this obvious diagonal where eventually my dragon could be prone. Um, but such is the cost of business. Hmm. I don't understand this either. It's resourceful, it's just too much for me to process at once.
think I made it. Please verify. Hmm. Yeah, that's checkmate. Boom. That's super duper checkmate right there. Um, yeah, congrats. Well played. Thanks for game. Well, um, well, we finally got to play Central File Rook by the end of this. Uh, it was good excitement. Uh, again, I'm not sure what's up with DNS for Shogi Wars. Not totally sure why that doesn't load, but yeah, uh, it was good fun. Um, so certainly I have to study better uh, my openings, or especially figure out how to play Opposing Rook, because I don't seem to have a very solid understanding of that. Um, I'm not sure what happened. Well, this last game, I played Central Fa Rook in a really speculative way, and I tend to play speculative things, and it gets me in trouble. Will I stop doing that? I'm not sure, because this is an entertainment website here. Um, probably you won't see me playing the same crazy stuff on 81 Dojo that you see me playing here. So, yeah, I could study it a little bit more, but uh, yeah, these games are a bit more, um, I don't know, they have a different spirit than my other games. So, yeah, hopefully we'll all enjoy this together, and we'll see you next time.